Now, over the past few years, Jay Blades has become one of the most recognisable faces on TV, thanks to his role as foreman in the hugely successful BBC One show, The Repair Shop. But the presenter has dyslexia and admits that he struggled at school. Well, today, he shared his experiences with pupils in Rochdale, hoping to inspire the next generation. He's been speaking to Ian Haslam. Welcome to the repair shop, where much-loved but broken treasures are brought back to life. Central to the operation is skilled craftsman and presenter Jay Blades, today speaking to pupils at Hollingworth Academy in Milne Row. Jay, I never had a TV personality come to my school before, so <laughs> it's something different for these kids, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, something different for you as well. you got a bit of a grill in there. What was that like? 100%, but I love it because what I normally... I never get told the questions and I like to just jump in. What advice would you give someone who is struggling with mental health and wants to start their own business? Can they still do it? 100% you can. Do they it. gave me a good run for me money. Had me on the ropes at one stage. In terms of secondary school, you didn't yes. have the greatest time, did no. you? Just tell us about that and the fact that you had dyslexia. But that wasn't diagnosed till years later, was it? No, well, I went to school in the 80s and there it wasn't a thing about dyslexia. I think it was just basically, oh, you're dumb. They called us the losers um, and that's where I was. You're a winner now, Jay. I'm, 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 you're winning now. I'm slightly winning, yeah. yeah. The repair shop's success comes as numerous traditional crafts, including piano making and diamond cutting, are now on the red list of endangered crafts. That's the thing that we're trying to get across to young people, that learning a craft is not an old-fashioned thing, it's a new-fashioned thing. You can actually go out there, learn this and do it. One of the things you said that I picked up on was the fact that you're telling the kids essentially to, to be themselves and if they've got a dream, just follow it. The main thing, especially for young people nowadays, is to be themselves because there's so many things around them telling them not to be themselves. You must be like this person, you must have this kind of look. Why don't you just be you? We want young people to be aware of as many diverse career opportunities as possible and hopefully to just, from things that Jay was saying with them as well, following that passion of what you want to do as a career. A celebrity came into our school and I wasn't expecting that to ask. And he's a, he's a pretty cool guy. He has given me uh, more confidence to think of what I might do in the future, like game designing. The repair shop welcomes a very special guest. And as Jay knows all too well, life often brings surprises. I never knew, let's say when I was 46, getting into this TV world, that I was going to be working with the likes of the Prince of Wales, the former Prince of Wales, and now the King. I'm working on the repair shop. I'm doing stuff that is like, really? Oh my goodness, wow. You cannot look at that and think, oh, it's just a TV show. No, it's a bit more than that. When it brings people together and people find so much joy, I think we've done our job. Millions of viewers will agree. Ian Haslam, BBC Northwest Tonight. That was lovely, isn't he?